Hello there Matlates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. So bago tayo po ulit mag-start, plug ko lang yung aking mga official social media accounts. On Instagram, you can follow me at eral04. On TikTok, you can follow me at matsandlogics kung saan nag-upload po ako ng mga logic videos and sort of math shortcuts para sa inyo. And if you have queries, questions, clarifications, if you need help, you can message me directly on my official Facebook account at Larry Manalang Del Rosario. Okay, as of this moment, meron na po siguro nasa around 50 teachers and students na nag-message po sa akin sa Facebook. Nangihingi ng tulong, um, advice, nangi uh, and nagsasend ng mga questions nila okay po, regarding mathematics. So po kayong magalala, I will find time to answer all your queries and questions at para masagot ng ko din po yung mga inihingi nyo ng tulong sa akin regarding mathematics medyo naging busy lang po lately kaya hindi rin po nakapag-upload ng videos okay and of course if you like this video do not forget to like and comment and um, if you are looking forward for more math related contents feel free to subscribe on this channel I love math and Para wala po kayong mamiss na videos, please do not forget to hit the notification bell. Thank you! So bago tayo po mag-start, let us first identify the objective of our lesson. So after you have watched this video, the student will be able to factor polynomials in a form of sum or a difference of 2 cubes. So our topic for today is all about factoring. But to be more specific, it is all about the sum or difference of two cubes. Ayan, so bago tayo mag-start, pang apat na natin na lesson to. So, meron na tayong lumipas na tatlong lesson. Visit niyo yung channel ko para ma makita ninyo grade 8 yung naging previous lessons natin. Ito yung pang apat na nating lesson. So as part of the recap, I want you all to list all the perfect cube numbers. You should be able to list the first 15 cube numbers in 30 seconds. Okay, hindi, hindi ako sure kung familiar kayo when we talk about perfect cube numbers. Pag sinabi natin perfect cube numbers, these are the numbers na uh, kapag kinuha natin yung root niya or meron siyang tatlong magkakamukhang number na kapag minultiply natin, will arrive uh, with the number. Ayan. Let's say for example, we have 1 cube which is equal to 1 kasi 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 2 cube is, is equal to 8 since 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Hanggang 5 given na po which is 125. So all you need to do is to find the perfect cube numbers from 6 to 15 kasi given na po yung ating 1 to 5. So I'll be giving you 30 seconds to answer this. Kung hindi nyo kaya yung 30 seconds, pwede po kayong, pwede nyo pong ipause yung video for a while and then answer this. Bakit po natin ito kailangan sagutan? Since we will be dealing with some or difference of 2 cubes, so dapat maintindihan natin ano ba yung perfect cubes or paano natin masasabi na ang certain variable or number is a perfect cube. So your timer starts now po. Okay, time is up. So, here's our answer. Ito yung ating mga perfect cube numbers from 1 to 2, 15. Okay, pwede nyo pong i-pause para maging familiar kayo regarding kung ano ba yung mga perfect cube numbers kahit yung from 1 to 15 lang. Kasi it is very important when we proceed with our next lesson. Kasi medyo komplikado to, medyo nakakalito siya, but it doesn't mean na hindi na siya madaling intindihin. Okay, all you have to do is to master the skills or ma-master ninyo yung pagkuha ng pattern or pag-identify ng conditions. Kapag na-master na ninyo yun, then 
uh, hindi na magiging mahirap sa inyo yung pag-solve ng sum or difference of two cubes. So, we'll be factoring a sum or difference of two cubes. So, bago tayo mag-start ng factoring yan, paano ba natin masasabi na ang certain polynomial ay sum or difference of two cubes? And, ano ba yung factored form niya? Okay, so since dalawa siya, meron tayong dalawang susundin. Una ay sum of two cubes. Sa sum of two cubes, nasabi siya sum of two cubes simply because of the plus sign of the two cubes. Okay, pag sinabi natin two cubes, perfect cube yung first term, perfect cube yung last term. So magiging format natin ng factored form niya ay a plus b quantity times the quantity of a squared minus a b plus b squared. While in difference of two cubes, I, ang pinagkaiba lang nila is instead na addition yung ginamit natin, we have this minus sign. So we have a cube minus b cube, which is equal to a minus b times the quantity of a squared plus a b plus b squared. So para hindi kayo malito, saan ba yung ano? Yan. So, para di kayo malito, uh, you have to remember the word soap. Okay? So, ano ba yung tinatawag natin yung soap? Yung soap ay kapag finactor natin itong dalawa na to, yung una daw niya ay same sign. So, we are going to write plus. Kung plus siya, plus. Kung minus, minus. And then, yung followed by opposite sign. Opposite sign, kung plus yon automatic, ang sign niya sa susunod ay minus. Kung minus yon ang sign niya sa susunod ay plus. And then, the last part is always positive. So, always positive po yung ating last na term dun sa pangalawang factor niya. Okay, next. Paano ba natin naman uh, ginagamit yung format na to? So, una, kukunin lang natin yung cube root ng dalawa. Cube root ng A cube ay A. Cube root ng B cube ay B. Next, square lang doon natin ito. So, if this is A, this will be A squared. And then, yung next term, imumultiply lang yung dalawa. So, we have A times B is AB. And the last term, square lang din natin ito. So, we have B squared. The same with this one. Nagkaiba lang sa sign. So, always remember, so, same sign Opposite sign, always positive. Okay. Para masabi natin na ang isang polynomial ay um, sum, or, sum or difference of two cubes, meron tayong dalawang condition to follow. Una, it is a binomial. So, dapat binomial siya. Meron siya dapat dalawang term. Pangalawa, each term is a cube. Para natin masabing each term is a cube, dapat yung constant niya, kung meron man, ay perfect cube numbers. At yung variable niya, yung exponent, dapat ng variable niya must be a multiple of 3. Okay. Let's say for example, para man hindi kayo malito, we have x cubed minus 8. Let us first identify if it is a binomial, definitely it is a binomial because we have one, two terms divided by hinati ng minus sign. So, we have x cubed at saka 8. So, check na tayo sa unang condition. Pangalawa, are they a perfect cube? Okay, simulan natin sa variable. Yung variable natin na x cubed ay may exponent na 3. 3 is a multiple of 3. That means it is a perfect cube. How about 8? Of course, sa nalis na natin kanina, we have 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. That means 8 is also a perfect cube. Since nakuha natin yung condition, we may now proceed in factoring this polynomial. Paano yun? Sabi kanina, you just have to get the cube root of the 2. So, cube root ng x cube ay x. Ang cube root ng 8 ay 2. Next, square down natin si x, we have x squared. Square, uh, square natin si 2, we have 4. Because 2 times 2 is 4. And then multiply natin yung x and 2 para sa middle term. So, x times 2 is 2x. And then following so, same sign. Kung minus yon, it will become minus. 
and then opposite sign. Minus yon, magiging plus yon kasi opposite sign. And always positive. So, always positive. So, this is the factored form of x cubed minus 8. Ayan. Para mas malinaw sa inyo. Another example. Kapag nalilito kayo, you can pause the video for a while para mas mapag-aralan nyo pa siya ng maigi. Another example, we have x raised to 6, y raised to 4, plus 64. Let us first identify, is it a binomial? Yes, because x, ang dalawang term niya ay x raised to 6, y raised to 4, at 64. So the next is, is it a perfect cube? No, 64 is not a perfect cube. And then, I sorry, 64 is, is a perfect cube because 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. Next, yung x raised to 6, ang exponent niya ay multiple of 3. Okay. And y raised to 4 raised to 4 is not a multiple of 3. So, the exponent of y is not a multiple of 3. This is not a sum of 2 cubes. Therefore, ang sagot natin ay prime. Ibig sabihin na factorable siya. Okay, how about this one? We have 5p cubed minus 5 over 8. Condition. First condition, it is a binomial. Yes. The next condition, it is not what? A perfect cube. Why? Because 5 is not a perfect cube. 5 over 8 is also not a perfect cube. Si 8 ay perfect cube, si 5 ay hindi. So that means it is not perfect cube. But as you notice doon sa first lesson natin, we have the greatest common monomial factor. Okay, Pwede, merong common sa kanilang dalawang term. Ano yon? They both have 5. So pwede nating ilabas si 5. At i-divide sila by 5. So, 5 p cube divided by 5 is p cube. And 5 over 8 divided by 5 is 1 8. Okay? And then, identify ulit natin. Si 5, si p cube ay perfect cube na. No? Si 1 8 is also a perfect cube. Sorry, correction lang dito. This is 5. And this is 5. Okay? Next, i-factor na natin to. Bakit siya P? Because P is the cube root of P cube. And 1 half is the cube root of 1 8. P squared is the square of P. P over 2 is the product of P and 1 half. And 1 fourth is the square root of 1 half. A square of 1 half rather. Again, yung P cube natin cube root lang natin siya P. Yung 1 8 natin, kunin natin yung cube root we have 1 half. Yung, yung P natin, square lang natin siya, we have P squared. Multiply natin yung P kay 1 half, we had P over 2. And then, square lang natin yung 1 half, we have 1 fourth. Okay, so the factored form niya is 5 times the quantity of P minus 1 half times the quantity P squared plus P over 2 plus 1 fourth. Okay. That's 5 correction lang. Okay, so I hope you understand our lesson. Pwede nyo siyang balikan, pwede nyo i-download, pwede nyo i-pause for a while, and then aralin nyo ulit. Okay, I want you to try this. You have to factor each completely, then afterwards, ibibigay ko yung sagot sa kasunod na slide. Okay, feel free to pause the video for a while para masagutan nyo siya, and then i-resume nyo na lang kapag nasagutan nyo na. Okay, so here is our answer. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, feel free to like and comment on this video. And of course, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para wala kayong mamiss na video sa ating YouTube, sa ating uh, channel. Thank you for watching.